Hey guys, we are here with another science video, hands on science. We need to be on page, oh, 27. Page 27 of your science workbooks. We are gonna be on lesson four, how strong is it? We are going to be comparing three materials, aluminum foil, craft sticks, and spaghetti. Um, in order to figure out how strong something is, Basically, the strength of something means it can withstand damage and destruction without um, being torn apart or broken, right? It can hold a lot of weight without okay. breaking. I can walk across a bridge and know that it's strong because it holds my weight. That's important. Yeah, I don't want to fall through. No way. Into a crevasse. No. Or, I like that. I know, I like to say huh. crevice like crevasse. Yeah, like, like, really you, like you're fancy. I'm fancy. Like Target or Target, right? I bet it would be important to have strong materials to build a house, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. For sure. So choosing materials is important for the job that you might be doing. Yes. All right. And the thing about this lesson is that you have some of these materials, but not all of them. So I'm going to give you some tips as to how to alter this lesson if you don't have these little things called washers that Miss Marquardt's holding up. It's a little silver guy that you usually put like on the back of a nut and bolt when you're screwing things yeah. together. Um, you may have some of them in your garage. If you don't, I'm gonna give you some tips about how to work around that. Um, the other materials you do have in your science kit, a piece of aluminum foil, a craft stick, which we've been using a lot lately, yeah. and a piece of dry spaghetti. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to be doing is making a prediction, how many washers will each material hold without breaking? And a washer is those little silver guys. So we think maybe it will hold one washer and it will break. Maybe it will hold 10. Maybe it will hold, you know, um, 20. Um, and we, we do want to specify that we're not necessarily looking to see when it breaks because not all these materials will break, mm -hmm. right? Some yeah. of these materials, um, if I'm walking across a bridge, I really want that bridge to stay sturdy the whole time. Yeah. I don't want it to dip down under my oh, weight. No. That would be scary. Yeah, and I definitely don't want it to break. Okay, so not every one of these pieces of materials is actually going to break. Okay. Some of them might, some of them might just sag. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, that's where it kind of gets tricky here. All right. But what we're going to be doing is holding out each piece of material and placing washers on it until we start to notice a change when it might not be sturdy enough to hold somebody's weight if it were to be a bridge. Um, we're just gonna be placing for the um, aluminum foil, we're just gonna be placing washers on top of it until we start to either notice that it sags or it breaks or something happens that would make it not very good for a bridge. For the spaghetti, we're going to be putting the washers, um, putting the spaghetti through the washers and seeing how much, uh, how many washers it can hold before the spaghetti breaks. And we'll be doing the same thing for the craft stick. Now, if you don't have a washer, something that you could do and it would change because you might not be putting the, like a different amount of washers on it. But what you could do is, let's say I was holding this um, piece of aluminum foil and I wanted to put like maybe just an object that has some weight to it, okay? Like maybe um, a small book or something. And yeah. I wanted to see if I held it like this, could it withstand the weight of the book without dipping down, without breaking, without pulling apart? Maybe um, an Oreo cookie. Oreo cookies. Like yeah. it, there's different <laughs> objects in your house you could use to just give it some weight. And, and maybe you don't have something that has a hole in it that you could string up, but you can hold the spaghetti and place the object on top of the spaghetti and see if it's able to withstand. Like if this were able to hold, um, if this was able to hold a book, but this, you put the book on it and it breaks, then you would know that that's probably a little stronger. So you can be creative and modify it if you want, or you can just copy what we do on our video and just watch along with us. Okay, all right. So Sounds we're gonna good. take this over here and we're gonna start our experiment. Um, all right. So we're gonna be collecting down here. Yes. How many washers we need for each material. Yeah, so, um, we were supposed to do our prediction at the top, so oh, if see. you guys wanted to guess, like um, maybe how much, how many washers do we think we could put on top of the aluminum foil before it breaks? Ooh, I don't know, ten. Ten, yeah. Uh, um, how many do you think the craft stick can hold before it breaks? Thirty. Thirty. I don't okay. Know. And then what about spaghetti? I would say like five. I feel like the spaghetti is yeah. pretty weak. It okay. won't be able to hold very many. Sounds good. And a prediction is just that, it's a prediction. It doesn't mean that you have to be right or that anything bad's gonna happen if you're wrong. It's okay if we get them wrong. 
All right, so down here, after we perform the experiment on each one of them, we're actually going to be recording how many washers we used before we notice a change. Notice how I'm not saying before it broke because not all of these are gonna break. We're really looking to see when the change happens. So um, what should we start with? Maybe it says aluminum foil, yeah. so if we wanna hold the aluminum foil yeah. um, by the sides and then maybe we can back out a little bit just so we can see a little bit better. Yeah. So you can see that a little bit better and she is going to, I guess I can join you so you can hold the aluminum foil on both ends. Okay. And we will just keep adding washers until Miss Marquardt and I start noticing a change. That's one, two, three. I'm already starting to notice Miss Marquardt that it's bending down. It is, Four. Yeah. It's not staying sturdy and straight. Five, oops, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and let's just ramp this guy up a little more. Okay. I'm gonna add five more right here. Oh Make my. it 15. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't know, if this were a bridge. I don't think it would withstand a little bit more. No. I'm just curious. I'm okay. just curious. Do you All mind? Right. Go for it. Do you mind? Okay, 15 plus five is 20, plus five is 30, plus five is, actually plus five would be, 25, 30. 35. Wow, it's really stronger than I thought. It's pretty strong. 40. 45. Okay, so if I were on a bridge, it's really starting to collapse. You can it see is. that this isn't really holding its shape. And to be honest, yeah, it's actually holding quite a bit, but I can start to feel the tear down here at 45. Yeah. But I also started noticing a change right around like three or four, uh -huh. right? So that's kind of interesting for our data here. So we already started noticing the change with the aluminum foil around four, <laughs> but it started ripping around 45. Yeah. So I maybe mean, we put like 40. I yeah. don't know. That's it's a fine. big range if yeah. we want to talk about whether when it started to droop and uh -huh. sag. Cause I don't want a bridge to do that. I'll yeah. be honest, bridges scare me a little yeah. bit. And if I stepped foot on a bridge and, and I felt dreaming. myself going down, do you know what I would do? What would you do? I would I back, would back up off yeah. that bridge. Yeah. <laughs> so, hmm. hmm. Well, it might depend on what happened. Maybe they need to fill in their own answer for what they yeah. noticed and when they started to feel their bridge to be unsafe. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's move on to craft stick and spaghetti and see what we get here. And that maybe that'll help us define our answer better. All right. Well, let's do the craft stick. All I think right. I'm and it's short, on. so we're not probably going to be able to fit 40 of them yeah. on there. All right. Well, this is, I'm going to count by two. Okay. So I have two. Just kidding. I'm trying <laughs> to count by twos. Four. Six. I'm not noticing any drooping <laughs> at all. It's really sturdy. 10. You're at 10 and it's still perfectly straight. 12. No movement whatsoever. 14. I would feel pretty confident 16. walking across a bridge that did not move like that. 17. 18. 20. Wow. I don't think this is going anywhere. 22. 22 24. 25. 27. 29, 30, I'm like running out of room. 30 and it hasn't even changed at all. 32, 34, wow. 36, 38. You already made it to 40. 40. Wow. I didn't think 40 would fit on there. I didn't either. And I'm gonna stop here just because I don't have much room to hold it anymore or it's gonna fall. That's impressive but and it's really sturdy. It is. So I wanna tell you something. This is a lot, I'm gonna come into the picture here. Come into the picture. It is a lot sturdier at 40 than that tin foil. Oh yeah, that tin foil was ripping at the bottom and it was drooping so much that you mm -hmm. could tell at any moment it was gonna collapse. So I'm almost thinking that we could probably put 40 for our craft stick and I think aluminum foil needs to be a bit lower. Yeah, all right. All Let's right. check out the spaghetti and see how that went. What a great experiment. It is. All right. And you can tell you can use different objects. If you have little things that weigh a lot, yeah. you can just start stacking them on until you notice a change. All right, so your spaghetti. So let's start stringing those washers on and, and it's see. A it's lot quite longer. a bit longer. So maybe we'll get more. Maybe. Let's right. find out. Let's try one, two, three, 
four, five, six, nope. seven. I already beat my prediction. Eight, eight nine, eight, ten. ten. 11. Oh, I'm starting to see some droopage. <laughs> 12. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I can't, you guys can't really see it in the picture, but over I'm looking at her from the side and I can see it. Oh, no! What did it make it to? We had 12 and oh, I put 13 on 12. it. 12. Just... That's definitely a lot less than uh, both craft stick and aluminum foil. So I'm going to put 12 for spaghetti. What do we have for craft sticks? I think 40. Yeah, 40. And then the aluminum foil, well, we noticed it starting to sag. I would say maybe around 20 is really where it started to really droop. Yeah, it was making me nervous. Yeah. I mean, I was nervous a little earlier on, but yeah. again, we can tell where it fits into yeah. our... It's definitely in between. If we're on a scale and we're talking about um, a scale of how strong to how like less strong it is, how weak yeah. it is, it's definitely in between, which yeah. is what our goal was. Yeah. We don't have to be perfect with this stuff. We really just want to make sure the strongest, the medium one in the middle, and the yeah. weakest one. Exactly. That we get those. Right. All right. Okay, so now that we have our data written down, we're going to create another bar graph with it. And so with aluminum foil, now, Ours really went up way higher. So we could even ch change these into yeah. like groups of 20, if, or groups of 10. We could change from one to 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Mm -hmm. um, we could, you know, that's yeah. easy enough to do. I like that. Or we could even count by twos, right? And go up, yeah, 20. But let's do that. I like, how about we just stick a 10? A put, put a zero after a each zero. of those numbers. Yeah. So we got a 10, a 20, a 30, a 40. And I don't think we went above that, so. Okay. Aluminum foil ended up, we said about 20, right? Yeah. And then before we noticed a change, we know. Craft stick went all the way up to 40. And then the spaghetti was slightly over 10, which was at 12. So you can tell by looking at the bar graph where they fall on the scale of weakest all the way up to strongest. Very cool. Yeah. And then down here for comparing, we're going to put our materials in the order from strongest, which was definitely the craft stick which held the most without changing at all. It didn't bend, it didn't like lose its sturdiness. And then our second one, kind of in between the weakest and the strongest was aluminum foil, which though it didn't break and it did continue to hold, it kept drooping and drooping and drooping until a tear formed. Um, and so we knew that it wasn't quite as strong as the craft stick. And then the spaghetti was definitely the weakest, only holding 12 washers before it finally broke pretty quickly. So, I guess, you know, if I were going to build a bridge and those were my only options, I would definitely be using the craft sticks. Mm -hmm. Now here over here, it says test solutions. Another way to test the strength of the materials would be, we talked about that. Mm -hmm. You can use other objects and put it on top of those materials and see if you notice a change. So if you ended up doing that at home with your three objects and using something around your house to test the strength of it, go ahead and write down what you did. Okay, just to see if it was something different than what we did. And then we have down here at Reflect, ask questions, write a question that could be answered by your test results. Mm -hmm. So maybe you found out that a craft stick was the strongest, so knowing that, um, maybe a question could be like, if I were to build a house and these were my objects, which would be the best material, the strongest, right? Um, or any other question that you could think of using the results that we found here with our Today. Yeah, they could even ask, what is the weakest material? Yeah. The weakest is kind of the opposite, right? We yep. were looking for the strongest, but maybe you were curious, what is the weakest material? Mm -hmm. Really cool. This inspires me to even try out different materials at home and see if there's anything that's stronger than a craft stick or even weaker than spaghetti. Yeah. I wonder what I could find. Yeah. <laughs>